hi everyone and welcome to my youtube channel i believe you want to create an online store with sum up or you'd like to see my review so first make sure you do have the updated version of the sum up app and when you do you open the page open the app and you should see this on the first page this is the checkout this is all products on the checkout and you should press more on the right bottom left on the screen and the first thing you should do is make sure that the my products toggle is on just like mine the blue toggle should be on then you go back to your checkout and make sure you have products if you don't have any products you can go on to press edit on the top right screen and as you can see i have new category and new product um, i would like to be specific with what items go online and what doesn't so that's why I made my category and titled it online. In order to do this, you can tap new category. And in order to make a new product, you tap the option of new product. So. And I tap, typed in test. And in order to add an image, you can choose from library or take a picture. And where it says my shelf so I would want to choose online so you would probably want to title it whatever you title it I've chosen to put it in the online folder here it says description which is optional but is very advisable so that you can give information on what your product is however there's no return button so everything is literally divided by space so Here I'm discarding the changes because I've already created a product. I've put um, in the description box large item and I would like to change the picture or cho I've chosen my picture and in the variants I've put black, priced it at £5. I've put another item that is also coloured white just as an example and I priced it at £5. The VAT, if your VAT is not included in your item price then I've, as I've just put VAT 0% and once that's done you can press the tick on the right top corner so as you can see my variants are there and my test product is there and also you also have the pro option to delete the product which is, at, which is at the bottom of the screen so once that is done You press more on the right bottom corner and then you tap sell online press sell online and if you've already registered or if this is your first time registering this screen will only come if you've already pressed and agreed to the terms and conditions so here you can see me picking an image which I've already done however what I've noticed is that when I try to change the image or pick a new image as you can see here I would like to pick a new one it doesn't allow me to do so so that was one glitch that I realized and um, the sum up app did not allow me to do so then again as you can see here I tried to re-enter again into the set online option and it brought me back to this screen this is the first screen you should see if this is your first time setting up the website so you read the terms and conditions and then you tap and you read the data processing agreement and tap enable enable should then bring you to that screen that we just saw however another glitch i realized is that i said something went wrong it did this many times before i could get to my online website i had to remove any other apps that were running i had to change to see if my bluetooth was on or off i had to see if there was um a problem with the wi-fi or my data before this could work i had to take off the app and then of course start again tap sell online tap, tap sell online and eventually it worked this is the screen this is the screen with the image that we saw before as you can see there's the social media which i had but of course this is the screen that you see before we get to the social media um it says view store store name and link social media links shipping methods of course we press the first one 
and these options were automatically there for me I did not have to enter this information as you can see on the store link section I would have liked to have changed um, the link uh, however it did not allow me to do that as you can see here I am trying to type in an actual website or this is my actual website link to the shop of my original website and I try to press save once typing this and yeah then again another glitch it didn't tell me what exactly was wrong why it did not allow me to do so so I tried again went back to sell online same screen just went to social media links since I couldn't change anything there I entered in this information myself I would have liked to see a YouTube option because I'd like people to see the video versions of the clothing items that I'm selling with the accessories that I'm selling that we are selling and I didn't get that option it brought me back to sell online as you can see again that's because I pressed cancel when I didn't press back so as you can see here I pressed the shipping methods. This shipping method pickup at store option was at toggle was actually switched on. I switched it switched it off myself. And I'm assuming that the opening hours here are the opening hours that it's showing on the first page. I switched on the shipping toggle and I've typed in UK um because it's three pounds for around three pounds for UK shipping. I would have liked to up and um, put in the price for international shipping because I would not just like to ship to people in the UK because I do have um, international um, customers however this option was not there so that's something I would appreciate if some up could also take a look into so then again I got brought back to this page I checked payment methods and it asked me for my name or a name and I, I didn't know in what conjunction or what why it wanted it in terms of online card payment however i'm just assuming that on people's bank statement this is the name that will pop up or in the from what i saw in the payment section the iaiw came up before people put in the customers or the client puts in their bank details so i've just left it just as that i sort of for notifications it didn't allow me to see what kind of notifications there are or to edit any this was automatically also switched on because I would like them to get notified I would like my clients to get notified and I'll just do a test run um, with family or friends just to see what pops up in their emails however it would have been good if some up had given um, a test run option on the app so that it just makes um, things just that slightly bit easier and of course the shops legal clauses option which is the last one all of this information was also automatically entered in however just read make sure you read up everything because i did spot a few typos as here it says pick up at store that was pick up i think was spelt like incorrectly so i had to edit that out um i did it previously that's why you can't see me editing it here but there were a few other typos as well make sure you this this information is correct according to what your company allows in terms of delivery returns policy your privacy policy i'm going to make a few changes but it is quite close to what um the brand's policy are in terms of the items and the merchandise So there we have it after this uh, this is literally it social media pages are there logos are there if you enter in the information the logo comes up and um, if you don't the logos for the social medias won't come up as before i showed you i tried to change the image i just tried my luck again and um i found that it still didn't work yeah so it still didn't work as you can see and it all brought me back again to this enabling page where I shouldn't have to go through that again so finally this is how the website looks like when you eventually do get into it it's simple 
it um i believe it's it's a bit dull because i would have liked to change the settings for like the centralization of the text the font um also the theme color is white there's a white simple background which is nice however it would be good whether the color can be adjustable or not um and also there are options to also see which should be in the next clip however one thing i also wanted to mention is how the social media um logos are not colored um i do think that some of should look into this and have colored logos for the social medias as that does play a major part so as you can see here this is what the customer or the client will see the test option is also there but we will delete that make sure to delete it if you don't need it so if i would like to buy a t-shirt there are options for black and white as i said here also for the description section there is no return button so everything is all put together if i would like one item i press add to cart as you can see there are other items in my cart and as i said um, I did not want the pick up at store option but it seems to be still written there and also it does say shipping is calculated at checkout which is okay so proceed to checkout it loads pretty quickly which is really good it also shows how many items you have in the cart it has an order summary which is amazing it allows the client or the customer to put full shipping address only allows to be shipped in the United Kingdom I wonder why and here is what I mentioned about the IAIW option where it's mentioned just on top of where the customer can put in their bank details and they have to give their consent about their personal data but it does show at the top of the screen that it's a safe checkout because of the padlock and then the customer can pay if they have not entered in their details it is required information which is something that i do like and it does say secured by sum up which is amazing and that is it if you'd like to see a video of me trying to connect this online sum up app or sum up website to my actual website let me know in the comment section. The link for our YouTube channel will be down below in the description box. Or you can type IAIW Family. We are also on Instagram at IAIW Family. So join us there. See ya.